Were, if you feel offended, that's on you. <laughs> that's on you, baby. That's 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 your fault. Mothers and fathers, get in here. Think to yourself, why are you owning five shampoos of five different brands? So my next trend here is baby hairs. I don't see the points. You can convince me to buy wig. Closure, you can even convince me. But you see that thing that they call frontal wigs? Looks like a freaking hair hat. Hi the of the interweb, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Ukachi to YouTube channel. Hi, how are you? I create content around natural hair, entrepreneurship and lifestyle. So please consider subscribing to my channel if you love those kinds of content. And if you're to my channel, welcome back home. So guys, this video is what I usually do to round up the year. Guys, it's a natural hair trend. We're going to be teaching in the new year. Sort of kind of video, okay? So without further ado, you know how we do it. Let's get right into the video. So as I said earlier, this is what I do usually at the end of the day. I think I did it in 2018. Draw hair trends, yes, that were ditching in 2019. The trends I want to leave behind the old year. 2019, 2020. 2019 cannot pass us by without us dropping a trends we should drop in the trash card in 2019 for Loma to pack. 20, 21, I think. Do you really think I was going to, I was going to end the year, finish 20, I was going to 2020 finish complete? Without coming through with a natural hair trend to ditch in 2020 video, did you really think I was going to end here without that? Fam, no, there was no way, okay. Now we're in 22, so let's let's, let's just wrap this up, okay? So guys, grab a drink, it's going to be a long video, Let me, it's going to be a long video, I'm going to, I'm going to just be talking and talking and talking, so grab a drink, your Christmas wine, juice, water, even my water says, cherish every moment in 2023, prosperity, happy new year in advance, guys, okay, so, guys, I'm going to be talking a lot, I'm going to be hearing my thoughts, no holds bad. No, I'm not getting disclaimer. If you feel offended, that's on you. <laughs> that's on you, baby. That's 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 your fault. It's not my fault. Okay, I'm not here to make you feel comfortable. I'm here to have a discussion. Yeah. So guys, I have a lot of trends here, guys. I really like almost like 15 different trends. I just came to my mind like in the night. I'm like, we haven't done a video to end the year. So hmm, let's get into it. So the first trend I have here is the first trend to ditch. I'm trying to open my water because. Uh, The first trend is trying to have symmetrical hair. Like, what I really like dislike, I feel like, no gosh, we've been talking about in like 2023, is when people say, oh, my hair is uneven here and there. I have to go and cut or trim it so that it can be even. How is your hair going to ever be even? Even from the hair growth cycle, for those that don't know, I'm a cosmetologist. Yeah, diploma in cosmetology. Yeah. For hair growth, the way your sleeping pattern actually influences your hair growth, like pressure on some parts of your scalp. That's why usually, even in children, you can see like this part of your head, not everybody, but in general, is really the longest part. And some say, oh, my back is longest. This part also is quite long for like, look at children. How does the hair grow normally? It's like here, usually here will be bald. Then here will start growing first. This part usually is the longest because there's no pressure here. Like normally you are sleeping on your sides and your back. So how do you expect your hair to be equal? And I think equality is like, in hair growth, is like such a crazy thing because equality, even that it has to have equal length of hair or equal when you drag it on your body. Because your body at different sides. If I drag it on my front and it gets here, I drag it on my back, it goes down my back. Well, I say they are equal, but they might, be, they might be the same 15 inches, 15 inches. So I don't like when people say, oh, my hair is not, um, it's not symmetrical, it's not equal. Like, what was that? Your hair can never be equal. It's just what it is. Whether you cut it with ruler, it can never be equal. So why, why do people say, oh, my hair is not equal. Let me go and get a trim cut. Get a trim because you are trying to retain length. You're trying to prevent, like, cut off split ends and um, single strand knots. Not because you're trying to have equal hair. There's nothing like equal hair in my own books, though. Yeah. So my next trend is relaxing children's hair. I don't know why we still do this in 2022, but parents, mothers and fathers, get in here. I don't see the point of relaxing a baby's hair. For someone that was relaxed, I mean, I was relaxed from like, I don't know, like six or seven, legit. Or even five. Five years old to like 18, six, no, 17, 18-ish. I was relaxed from like five, from five years old. And that's because my mom did not know better. Like, I mean, everybody around my age was relaxed. But now that there's so much internet, there's so much information on the internet, why are you still relaxing your baby's hair at five, six, seven. I don't, I don't see the point. I mean, I know you got, some people say, oh, natural hair for children is hard. No, it's not hard. You just don't do enough research. Like, I mean, just type how to wash baby's hair on YouTube. You see like a million and one videos, how to grow baby's hair long. 
even in one video. So I don't see why they say, people say it's hard. The products are not expensive. They're literally using like, like having your hair as a child is like the cheapest to ever be for you. Because, I mean, you are, you are buying, sometimes your shampoo comes in one bottle, shampoo and conditioner is one bottle. Excuse me, you need to wash your entire hair. Slather some Oreo on the hair. That's it. Like, that's it. That, that, that's it, that's all. So, like, children's hair care is so easy, so basic that I don't see why you should be saying, oh, the baby will be crying. Buy a leave-in conditioner. Stop combing your baby's hair dry. And stop blaming the baby's hair for being hard. You are the one that doesn't want to do enough research. This is, this is just basic information. Like, your hair is hard. What do you buy a leave-in conditioner? Many people are like, can you know that? When your hair is dry or very, when it's hard, put some water and leave-in conditioner. It's become soft. It's a no-brainer. It's, it's, not, it's not like magic. It's just science. Yeah. So I don't see the point of relaxing baby's hair. I, like, I just feel like, I feel like the child is like 10 double digits. I don't feel like the child should have relaxed. It's just my personal opinion. I am not a parent. I don't have any baby anyway. Well, I'm my only baby. Yeah. So, but I don't see the point of a baby having relaxed. Like, why? 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 Make it make sense. So my next trend here is baby hairs. I don't see the point. I don't see the point. What is the point of having, like, some of you all just have, like, adult hairs and call it baby hairs. Like, when the edges are getting to your brows and doing, like, snake. I don't find it attractive. Even when I used to watch all these femininity channels, they would say that it makes, you, it makes your, your look look cheap. And you guys, I agree. I can't even disagree. It just looks so weird. Like, I don't know whether it's because me, I don't know how to do baby hairs like that, though. But even though, even the kind of, you can you cannot know how to do something and still admire it. It's not what, what I admire. It's not like, oh, I aspire to have a lot of my hair. No, I don't aspire to have a lot of my hair. Yeah, I lay your edges from time to time, but there are some categories of baby hairs that need to be uncategorized and thrown away in the trash and never put out again to see daylight. Like all those, the, other, the, like, the hair that I bring is almost half of the person's hair and calling me baby hairs. My guy, that's an ancient of days, aged grandmother hair. That's the baby hair. Let the hair, <laughs> let it, <laughs> pack that thing up. If you can pack your baby hairs, that means there's an issue. It's no longer a baby, it's not an adult. It's not a, an adult, okay? So, I am I am done with baby hairs. Like, I'm done. I was never really on the train of, train of baby hairs. So, I mean, I can't get off what I was not on. But I feel like we should just throw it away. What do you guys feel like? I feel like we should just... Let's tr trash it. Yeah, so my next trend I feel like we should get over with is, like, Miracle Hair Growth products. We have talked about this for over, like, how many years now? People are still pushing up the idea. Of, try our products. It will go ahead in no time. Try this. It will go ahead. It won't. It, it can't. It shall not. It shan't. It won't. It, it's in. No. It won't. Like, it literally won't. So let's not lie to ourselves. I hate when people like do like false marketing or false advertising. For someone that runs a company, I run my company there as a catchy. I, like, when people buy, buy my products, I'm not selling you a drip. I'm not selling you a lie. I'm not telling you it's going to go ahead in two days. It's not possible. The head will not take it two days to damage it. It will not come back in two days. So, I just I see oh buy a brow sharp sharp it grows your hair this so quickly, it won't. And for, and these are many people are so gullible that they would want to jump on the trend. I mean it's just extra three k four k spend the money and let's say right let's try it. Right. But then you spend three k four k in like five different vendors that's almost twenty k. So is it really worth it? Why don't you look for effective hair growth products that will actually work with time? They're not selling you a gym or a fallacy or a facade that your hair will go down your back in no time. You know, you've had the same hair for like 20 years and it has not moved anywhere. Don't, don't stop buying dreams. Stop buying, like, one thing about Nigeria, I know it's about Nigeria especially. We love to buy dreams. We love to aspire. Let me, now, let me speak politics a bit. When Buari came into power, before he came, it was that he would make the dollar, one dollar cost one naira. Nobody asked him how. The dollar then was like 150. 150 naira. The amount of dollars is not for my international view. The amount of dollars is naira. I think it's like 800. Nobody asked him how. So we, we love, we love being fed fallacies, being fed aspire to Maguire talk. Uh, we love being excited. Exactly. We love being excited. Ah, wow. He says so that, wow, we're always so excited. And it's very, very crazy to me. Because I mean, it's not, no, it's not even longer even being a, a research, research thing. It's not being a common sense thing. Like, it's not longer being a research. What do they want to add that will make your hair grow into this? What do they want to add? What do they possibly want to add? What do they want to put in the product and package for you and say, oh, take, that will grow your hair in two days or one week? Hey, that took you almost one year to damage. You now think you go back in one week. Oh, child, let's throw that trend away, please. Miracle Hair Good Products. Let's switch it, okay? So now the next trend I wrote here was um saying dead ends i hate to put like this is just my personal opinion guys when people call it oh these are my dead ends 
I know it's like he's in the natural community, but your entire strand of hair from the from here to the end is all dead. It's not living. That's why when you cut it, does not pain you. There's no cell. There's no what's in it. What is in it flowing through it? There's no blood flowing on your strands. That's why when you cut it, it doesn't hurt. If you cut your skin, it hurts. Why? Because this is living. This is your, everything is dead. So your ends that are like the bottom of your hair, they are dead. They are as dead as here. They are as dead as almost close to the root. So. When I see people oh, cutting off my dead ends, was the other, the other part is he living? Making make sense, but that one I feel like we should stop saying dead ends. Okay, another thing I wrote here was being a product junkie. In two thousand and twenty two, going to two thousand and twenty three, I don't see why anybody should be a product junkie. Even if you're an influencer getting PR packages, I used to be a product. Junkie. Let me start. I used to yeah, hey. Yeah. Seven shampoos at once. I used to have, I used to wash my hair. I used to almost wash my hair every day. So like I used to try my shampoos just to try everything. I was like crazy. But after like a couple of years, I started like decluttering, like this is like 2020 ish. 20, well, 2020, I packed my product and got to go and give my aunties in the village. I just shared everything all around. And when she, when we went up, she packaged everything a pack of products, pack, 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 and gave them as hamper. <laughs> like, <just kidding. laughs> like, I don't see the point of anybody being a product junkie. In 2023 i mean with the whole trying to go green being a responsible consumer why should you own like five shampoos if you're not a, if you're not a retailer or a seller or you're making it yourself why are you owning five shampoos of five different brands i don't see the point it's just i just feel like being a pro at this point is just pointless i can't give you tips i have like i think i had a video i have a video of how to get over it please check this card here yeah there's a video about it on my channel but I don't see the point of you being a product junkie. I mean, find what works, stick to it. When it finishes, try another one. Don't be trying like pinching and perching left and right. No, find what works, stick to, stick to it. If it doesn't work, dash it out. Then before you get another one, stop trying to hoard. There's no award for having the most shampoos in the world or the most deep conditioners in the world. There's nobody. 2020, I don't want to be saying, oh, product junkie. No, no, stop that attitude. Stop it. Stop wasting money. Stop it. Stop it, okay? Another thing I wrote here was when kids wigs, I don't see the point why of a nine year old wearing wig. I don't see it. This become this. I don't, maybe you might see it though, but me, like I will see them with full front. I said it in this video linked here. That is the low budget Yahoo babes, Yahoo boyfriends, that be Yahoo boys' girlfriends. The low, I always do this. You will never see the actual big wig vendors wearing their kids' wigs. No, it's always the wanna be. You are, why, why is your baby wearing a wig? Why is, why is that six year old wearing a Why is that one? Why is she wearing a frontal? Why does she have a full 360 lace frontal? Her follicles have not, even if the even if the wig is less, if you don't have any health issue like basically like cancer or looking at it requires chemotherapy that makes you lose your hair. I don't see why as a five or six you are wearing a wig. I don't see. I feel like the baby's parents are just misdoing. Like maybe I will see it later, but at this point, I feel like we should dump that thread that was yeah, the trend in the trash can. Like even doing styles that are like very hot for like Ghana weaving. Bankroll is the way Tryna get to the time I don't want to win For children, I don't see the point For someone that used to get my head done when I was My mommy would like make me do Like styles I literally hated Like I hated, it. I hated all this Once the style doesn't go back, I hate it Cause it, it really hurts me when styles come from the side That's why I've only done Shuku once in the past it's to 10 years. I, I, I hate it. I can't deal. It literally hurts me like mad. When it comes from the side, when it comes from the back, I can't deal. So, my eyes is attaching when I was small. I don't see, I don't like see. I'm not really against attaching for kids, but like personally, say so child is like 10. From 10, you can start, start misdoing and experimenting. But like, Lord, I'm telling the baby's hair grow first. Why are you wearing a frontal for a baby that literally requires? That hair is still coming out. You're not going for so well, so she can look what expensive and look what I don't get. I don't get what's the point. Like, what? 
I don't see the point of, and I'm still on kid. I don't see the point of dying children's hair. Like, why are you dying that four year old girl's hair? I saw a video, I did a video about it on this channel, linked here. This mother, like, literally died, like, literally permanent dye on her baby's hair. You can play with all these things, um, temporary hair dye, source for color and all these things, cool aid, different things that can color your hair, color shampoo that can eventually wash out, but not permanent dye. Dyes work almost the same way as relaxers, low-key, low-key. Yeah. Lifts follicle, cool, sorry, lifts critical, lifts critical, all that good stuff. It's almost the same thing. If you leave dye in for just a little too long, or if you re dye your hair twice, it can, it, like I said, it loses your curl pattern. It's almost the same thing. Not like it's the same thing, but like it's, it works almost the same way. So why are you dyeing a baby's hair? You know that I need black, then it's a weird color. Why? Why would you even dye a baby's hair black? Leave the baby's hair, let the natural color come out. I, I, I'm always like very, very pissed when I see people saying, oh, I don't like my hair color. My hair color is light brown. I want it to be dark like yours. Baby, you have light brown hair. Your hair is beautiful. So why are you looking for what, what is not lost? I mean, well, that's another trend I think we should teach in the dustbin. Dying children. So another trend I wrote here was DIY YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. I wrote a company called DIYs by Kachi. So I guess with DIY, like I give my parents to do this and do your DIYs. But I'm literally over. I don't know if it's just me. I'm, I'm literally done with all these. Go ahead to go, go. Your hair will never stop growing if you stop, if you stop using if you, if you keep on using these product kind of videos. All of they have those very very weird titles. Your hair will never stop growing if you you say hair will grow will never stop growing. Then they will never, oh, they will now come and try to make a revitalizing tea, tea like anti shedding tea. They will do a fifteen minute video about about how to make use black tea to, for shedding, and they're just showing you how to pour it on your hair. I feel like those videos are just cash grabs. Because people are very, very, I told you that people love to buy lies. We love to like buy fallacies. We love to buy fantasies. So those videos give us a chance to like just aspire to my guy into the fantasy. But those videos are literally like cash crafts because they do a lot of numbers. You see the, the millions, if not billions of these videos get, like combined billions and billions of views constantly. If someone uploads a video now, 500k, 100k, 200k views. And there's nothing novel there's nothing new there's no new science it is basically just showing you what you want to see it will not help you might not even help you in any way because i know like sometimes i dedicated to just doing diys but how many diys you are trying out like five DIY videos a week i mean that's like almost like 500 thousand that's a lot of money youtube is a lot of money it's not that amount of content every week how many do you even use in your hair that are making the video like how many using your hair? I feel like those are just cash grabs, and I feel like we should be done with this. I mean, I mean, I, like, do you know what I like about you? They don't even recommend. They don't even recommend, rec recommend me those videos again because I do options not interested. Options don't recommend channel. Options unsubscribe. Legit too. Like le legit, legit. I'm like I not about a life. It's I I hate lies. <laughs> it affects me. I literally hate it because like. The average Gullible person will keep on doing this, trying to do all your DIYs. Because you're not like saying, okay, like now on my channel, I used to do DIY videos though. But if you go back, go back to 2018, 2019, DIYs I did then, I thought I'm doing it to today. I did not start inventing something new or trying to do it all at once. No, what I did and I'm doing, I'm still doing it to today. When I do something, I'll tell you guys, you guys, this is my first time trying this. I'm only just recording it for documentation purposes so you guys can just see how it worked for me. But some people just be doing DIY upon DIY upon DIY. Today is black tea, green tea, fenugreek, rosemary, henna in one week. We won't even get the chance to try out all those things. I mean, I'm wasting my money buying these products that you're telling me to, the ingredients are telling me to buy. And I cannot be consistent with anyone because you are always coming with a new formula every three to five working days. So I'm literally done with DIY TikTok. Even for DIY Instagram and DIY TikTok now, they always do, oh, DIY hair growth oil. And they are putting actual aloe vera not aloe vera powder, not dehydrated aloe vera, not dried aloe vera. The one that has the juice, that has the moisture thing inside. They are putting actual raw leaves, not dried leaves. For people that don't know, when you put actual hydrated products that have water into something that has oil, it will go rancid. It's like you are mixing oil and water. Eventually, more it gives, it gives mold a chance to form. You want your oil to be fully oils. You don't want it to have, if you don't have any preservative inside, well, nobody really puts preservative inside oil. So it's just... You want to use the dried ingredients, not the wet. It's just giving a chance for more to go. And you see the videos on, on TikTok and Instagram. 4 million views. 100,000 likes. And nobody's asking, Sister, why are you putting aloe vera raw inside oil? 
Want it? Where is your preservative? Nobody's asking. You're mixing shea butter and aloe vera, raw powder and aloe vera. Where is your preservative? Nobody's asking. Everyone's just like, wow, can I purchase? Can I purchase? You see, I say we like buying fantasies. Exactly. We love to buy lines. We love to buy excitement. Exactly. Like, 1 million views, 100,000 likes. Wow, sis, this is such a great novel idea. This okay, now you do it and you're seeing more and I'm crying. Tattoo tears. I mean, <laughs> I mean, because you want to buy excitement, you won't even have time to do your research. And these people that are perpetrating this and putting out this content, they are kind of no better. But I mean, how would they blow? If they tend to put preservative, what would the natural community say? Oh, preservative is not good. We don't want the products to be natural, organic, 100% organic, or that's natural. So, how would they really blow? Exactly. So I think I wrote here. I'm done with their YouTube and Instagram. And I'm done. Like I'm trying to do it. There's not even options. I'm start blocking people that post this kind of my Instagram and TikTok. Cause like I mean, stop spreading misinf misinf misinformation. It's very annoying. So my other trend I wrote here was I think this is like I think it was almost my final trend was frontal wigs. You can convince me to buy wig closure. You can even convince me, but you see that thing that they call frontal wigs looks like a freaking hair hat like it really looks like a hair hat i'm not going to hold my mouth today i'm always trying to buffer and try to no we're not buffering anything today we're going to come all out it looks like a hair hat it can never ever 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 look like your hair quotes me anyway okay chagnes is in 2022 december yeah it can never look like your hair do your worst to your best it has never looked like it shall never look like it will never look like it shan't I say, oh, where's lace? What's Instagram? Instagram, eh? Hairstylist, what lace? Lace where? Lace there. <laughs> like, try, lace there. We can see it's off, off that filter. If I own my my phone camera now, use the back camera, do put it on some nice portrait mode. You will not see my acne now. You will not see these scars. You won't see it. Mm, you won't see it. So what they are lace where? Lace there. See it layer. Yeah. On only boom. So nobody should tell me, oh, lace where. Frontal wigs are like, I can still even get closure wigs, but frontal wigs literally, to me, makes no sense. I mean, the fake baby hairs, why? Why? Explain to me. Why? Does it make, like, you are literally like sticking your own hair back to be another person's hair to bring out their own edges. But you have your own edges, my dear. If you don't have, buy DIYs by Kachi, where is it? Okay, it's there. My edge trigger elixir. Picture here. Buy it. Like, legit, I still get closure, headband wigs. You part self, even like you bring out your hair, the hair you can see your skin, and your, your real hair in the front. But see that frontal wig, it doesn't make it differently. And the thing about it is that Nigerian women have, we've, women in general, like women that wear with like the black community and Africans, we have attached these wigs, just women though, because usually the men don't know the difference between frontal. I actually had a guy ask me, I wore a wig. He was like, he would tell me that even when he sees me makeup, he sees girls makeup, I doesn't see the and he's without makeup, there's no the difference. Like I'm like, bro, you really see girls with purple eye and pink eyeshadow, like pink eye and you do I say he doesn't know, he can't tell the difference. So the men that are even looking at us, that they are trying to look attractive. The men that the men don't even know. You can you cannot explain to my daddy the cost of a wig. Why one wig is 200 k and one wig is 20 that he can he doesn't understand. He doesn't care. Even if he doesn't he doesn't care. So I don't see the point, like we, it's women that made, made it look like a symbol of luxury. I have buying her 200k, 1 million naira. And it looks like that. Hey, wait! Hey, wait! It's killing baby. It's your baby. What? You're literally buying someone else's hair. And it looks like that. I say, no, it's, it's a symbol of luxury. Frontal wigs, in my opinion, no matter how fine they are, they might look nice, yeah, but they always look tacky. I'm like, yeah, I've seen wig. Nobody tell me, oh, I've seen wig, I've seen frontal. I mean, I've seen frontal wigs, lay left and right. They always look like once they just had in that that ridiculous baby hair or thing. Even if you try to make it very minimal, it just looks tacky. It looks like you will never see. Like you think of like very black, powerful women that are very feminine, that are very you would almost never you never see Michelle Obama wearing frontal wig. They know good. I'm marketing, I'm marketing this into their wannabe Instagram bodies and cool. You will never see. Powerful black women. Let me think of women that are like young like me. Wearing frontal wigs. Even look at Tiwa Savage and Co. When they want to do the frontal for all the empty most of the time it's usually closure. You can see center part. He doesn't show all those ridiculous really baby. It just looks tacky. In my opinion. Like I feel like we should ditch 
that hair has caught for like literally it's no longer a visa. I call it a hair hat. Like <laughs> it's a hair hat. What? Let it, let's ditch the hair hat. Like in 2020, let's throw that away. It's not it's not worth it. It's a very, very look. I'm not about our life. Headband wigs all the way. Headband wigs, closure wigs, but front hair. Please, okay, so guys, my last trend is not using products long enough and just this has to this has to be like we naturally stars. We'll buy a product. When we bought the fantasy, we bought what was name. When we now when we now bought when we bought the fantasy product and the hype products, I'm saying that it's not working. We're not coming to another vendor that is actually selling like actual good products. When we're watching them like ah and see, I've been it for two days, it's not working. Can we stop that and actually use use product for like at least a month to know how it works and why it does not work for us? Let's stop rushing. The hair growth cycle is not a rushed one. It's not a one day event. It's not, oh, I sleep and wake up, I have new hair on my head. No, it doesn't work like that. So let's stop rushing, okay? So guys, these are all the trends I feel like I should talk about. Oh, one more trend. My last trend, where's wait, is discrediting other techniques for like hair care. So there are different ways to go ahead. There's a DIY style, uh, products DIY by yourself. There's the no butters, no oils, curly, there is the I'm using butters in my hair, I'm using shea butter, I'm using I'm using, I'm using everything in my hair. There is the I can't come and keep myself, I go to salon, they do my hair for me, anything they use for my hair, it's okay for me. Let each one stop discrediting the other one. Because there's, there's a lucky lucky beef, if we want to say the truth, between like the no butters, no oils, and the butters and oils people. The no butters, no oils people will always be throwing subtle shades like. I talked about it in this video, I hope I, hope I have enough counseling videos. I, YouTube gives us five cards. I think I've said more than five things, but check my description box. I think, yeah. But, like, there's always this subtle shit. One of the, the first one, no button, uh, the latest caption was, taking out the stupid out of hair care. You just insulted your ancestors, because I'm very sure that my great-grandma was not using a gel wig to style her hair. For sure. She was probably using her shea butter. Sometimes even red oil uh, to style her hair. So I don't see the point of Discrediting the other one. Let's everybody just find what works for them. Let's not try to discredit what might what what have, might have worked for me and would not work for me. And see, eh? that's fine. It's okay. It's not a big deal. It's no no pressure at all. It's it's great. It's not a wild last thoughts. Okay. Let's just coexist. Exactly. Let's coexist. Okay. So guys, that's all for this video, guys. These are the that I feel like we should throw in the dustbin. I mean. It's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life for me, and I'm feeling good. It's a new year, it's a new year, throw away these bad habits. <laughs> okay. Ah, guys, I'm so tired of talking. I talk for like almost 30 minutes. What? And I have exams like next week. Let's quick catch up. I'm going to the new year with exams from January 3rd. Oof. But if you guys enjoyed this video, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I really had for a few minutes, so subscribe to my channel. Please subscribe, join my people of the interweb. Join the K again, people of the interweb. Follow me on Instagram Natural Kachi, TikTok Natural Kachi, YouTube Natural Kachi, Facebook Natural Kachi. Social media influencer on LinkedIn. Natural Kachi. Professional, professional what? Influencer. Natural Kachi. Any platform, not say for my name. If you just say Natural follow Twitter Natural Kachi. Guys, everywhere Natural Kachi, okay? I think I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you guys for sticking out with me throughout the entire year. This year was my hardest year, guys. I'm going to be like for video, but it was my hardest year yet. And you all came through my channel. Good, the most I've ever grown before, guys. I went from like, I don't know, 7 or 8k to like 21,000 subscribers in one year. Now, me do. I'm not being me when I go do so. Thank you guys very much. Happy New Year in advance. I wish you guys the best year in your lives yet, 2023. God be with us all. And as you get to my next video, don't forget to fit it till you make it. Bye. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh.